This is when things change in this nation. All right. Everybody, I have a dream, 93 in August. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, Life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. One hundred years later, the Negro finds himself in exile in his own land. So we come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. In a sense, we come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they will sign the promissory note which every American was to fall there. That note was a promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed the labor rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as the citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bank check, a check which has come back marked insufficient fund. So we refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are more insufficient funds in the great folks of this nation. So we come to cast this check, a check that will give us a pound demand in the riches of freedom and the security of justice. So we've come to this hot spot to remind America of the fierce urgency of now. This is no time to be cool enough for the take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is the time to make grills of the promises of democracy. Now is the time to lift our nation's capital to the solid power of racial injustice, to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. I say to you today, my friends, so even know that we face the difficulties of the day and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of the former slaves and the sons of the former slave owners who may be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. One day, my four little children who one day live in a nation, whether or not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, down in Alabama, with its vicious racist and with its governor, having his lips driven with the words of into position of nullification. One day I say in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day that every valley shall be exalted, that every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rock pleasure shall be made plain, and the crooked places shall be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed as all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This 
is the faith which I go back to the south with. With this faith, we'll be able to hear up the mountains of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we'll be able to transform the German discourse of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we'll be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, yeah. to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, yeah. knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day on all of God's children. Sing of new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land of thy fathers died and land of thy pilgrims pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring of America's to be a great nation. This must become true. So let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring. From the high name of Gaines of Pennsylvania, yeah. let freedom ring. From the snow-capped rockets of Colorado, yeah. let freedom ring. From the covered slopes of California, but not only that, let freedom ring. From the storm mountain of Georgia, let freedom ring. From Lookout Mountain in Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill in Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring when this happens. When we allow to let freedom ring, and when we let it ring from every village, from every hamlet, from every state, from every city, we'll be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing the Marcion Negro spiritual free at last. 